This is a response to Pat Condell's video, uh, Hello Angry Atheist. Well, it isn't really a response to the video, actually. It's a response to you, Pat, personally, to you, Pat Condell. And I know you're watching this video, so I'm going to speak man to man to you, Pat. There's a lot of interesting things about that video, and I did actually put it in my liked thing. I gave it the thumbs up, which I most certainly didn't do with your original UKIP video. Um, and I liked several things about it. I liked. The, I wish you'd done it first, actually, because you would have got some really much good, interest, more interesting responses. I think you'd have had people asking to stand as an independent. I think you'd have had people suggesting other kinds of protests you might have made, which have been more effective than voting for a party that you've only got one thing in common with, apparently. I think you'd have got interesting comments to do with Europe, um, perhaps more complex arguments than the ones that you can marshal, certainly. And I think you'd have got all sorts of comments about the American Constitution and the similarities and differences, uh, and the problems, you know, citing the American Constitution as a as a parallel to the to the to the aims of the uh, of UKIP, and possibly your own desires for the relationship between Britain and Europe. But I, I, so yeah, so there is some interesting things to talk about in relation to that. But I'll say where I'm coming from with this part. And it's a much more uh, kind of personal relationship with this video because this video that you've made here Pat I mean you don't do response videos and you don't do comments and you don't mirror people's videos and, and, and you know this has been mentioned to you before and I know you know this and that's kind of fine because you're a broadcaster I mean you you use YouTube as a, as a as a delivery system a delivery platform for your content alongside things like DVDs and you're not really into the interactive aspects of it and that's fine no one has a problem with that but it's kind of interesting that at a certain point you do kind of become interactive. I mean, this video you've got here, Hello Angry Atheist, is quite specifically aimed at some atheists. And I'm one of those atheists, and you know that. And I'm guessing that the, I don't know how many subscribers you've got, I imagine you've lost a few recently, but who knows, maybe you've gained some. Um, I'm guessing many of the, uh, the people who subscribe to you, Pat, and watch your videos, uh, they probably don't know the kind of weird little machinations that go on behind the scenes in YouTube. You know, about the kind of personal messaging and about the, you know, the kind of facilitators and the, the kind of fixers who try to put people together and get conversations going. Because a lot of that goes on, as you know. And I was contacted by one of those fixers, fixers your friend Halcyon, who, had, who suggested we get into a PM conversation, you and I. And I said, no thanks, I don't really want any back channel conversations. I would prefer to be upfront about it. You remember that conversation? Yeah, okay. So I know that you you know I've made some videos about you, Pat. And I'm not saying they're particularly good videos. If I made if I, if I was to go back and make them again, I'd probably give them more thought. I might even give myself a nice plain background and light myself properly like you do so effectively. And I might even, oh, I don't know, write it out beforehand like you do and rehearse it. Um, but uh, I didn't do any of those things and I'm not interested in doing any of those things. But it's interesting that you do look at those videos, including my video, and you respond uh, and you quote uh, subtly, but you do quote some of the things that I've said. You don't you don't respond to me man to man. You don't write a comment. You you make little uh, sneaky remarks. And you know what I thought was really sleazy, Pat. And you know this is sleazy. You know this is sleazy. It's that little sleazy comment about the dog. A little sleazy comment about the dog. You couldn't help yourself with that one, could you? You couldn't help yourself. I'll, I'll just, if I can just step aside for one moment here, Pat, and just address your subscribers. Uh, Pat, subscribers, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've, uh, my dog is, uh, is under a death threat right now because it went out and bit someone. And a little sneaky comment that Pat puts in about, uh, about morons who can't look after their dog. He's talking about me, but he's, I don't know, he doesn't want to talk to me personally, so he makes a sneaky little comment. So, uh, yes, Pat, that's, that's what that's about, isn't it? You know that as well as I do. So... It's, um, I don't know, I mean, it's in keeping with your persona right now. I mean, that's one of the most supercilious, smug videos I've ever seen you do. And you do smug really well. And that kind of supercilious, uh, uh, smarter than thou uh, expression that you usually put on works really well when you're talking about ignorant Christians. And it works really well when you're talking about ignorant um, Islamic uh, followers. But you're not talking to one of those people, Pat. You're talking to me, and I'm really smart. I'm as smart as you, probably, although not as well rehearsed, clearly. So it doesn't. It's, it's pretty sleazy to do that. It's really sleazy. You know what I mean? And if you're talking about values, if you're talking about voting to the value and sticking to your values, is that really the kind of value that you have? That you would do that kind of thing? You would make sneezy little snarky remarks 
about people here on YouTube and pass them off as if they're just part of an entertaining monologue. That's really crap, Pat. It's really, really crap.